SMT Nation, we back. Nation, Comcast, and AT&T doing nasty work. Let me tell you guys what's going on here with this home internet situation over in California. We've got the details in this video. The Benton Institute for Broadband and Society link for this press release and article will can be found in the description. Also, ways to support the SMT can be found there as well. Okay, so what are Comcast and AT&T doing here? Well, they're trying to block... I don't know, it's like 10 or $15 million in state high internet speed funding for folks in, I think it's the Oakland area. Uh, specifically, this has to do with, you know, under, I guess, uh, underbuilt areas uh, where broadband infrastructure is lacking. Uh, what's often referred to as last mile home broadband connectivity funding, ranging somewhere between I don't know, like $15 million or something for the city of Oakland, Comcast and AT&T are claiming that this part of the city or the city has plenty good broadband speeds. And those are areas where they serve. Uh, you know, I guess specifically schools have been contesting this. They've been reporting it to the CPUC, the California Public Utilities Commission, saying that the speeds that are offered are really bad. Uh, often leading to really poor experiences that internet services are paid for. So, you know, things like buffering video, disconnections, you know, not enough throughput for the basic needs of the students of the buildings and things of that nature. Anyways, Comcast and AT&T have not made any public commentary, but they have objected to this claim. Uh, so I, I can tell you guys right now, California is very aggressive when it comes to things like this through the CPUC, I think, you know, even with the ever powerful Comcast and AT&T, they're probably going to get some pushback from the CPUC. The problem is the only company, or excuse me, the only entity that has any disclosures on the details of this protest is the CPUC. So we don't really have full transparency into the issue. But for the most part, guys, what you have is AT&T and Comcast historically have always built the fiber deployments in areas that are well to do, right? We're talking about white collar areas where you have, you know, wealthy people, wealthy folks who have money and they're willing to pay top dollar, you know, for fiber optic home internet. You know, they're not going to places where the funding isn't going to be there. They're not going into places where the incomes just don't, aren't able to provide, or there's not enough folks that live there to provide the return on investment, whatever the case may be. Uh, like I said, this is nasty work by AT&T and Comcast, who historically have characteristically done this in the past. We know about AT&T's checkered past in the South, right, in Mississippi and other states down there, taking funding and running and getting audited. You know, we've seen those types of things. Telcos, uh, communications companies, they do these things. So I'm not here to protect anyone. Comcast, AT&T, Verizon, they have all done this in the past. And I'll be honest with you, I, I believe the people of Oakland. I don't believe the telcos. And I really hope the CPUC really does a number here to get these people the opportunity to be connected and hold these companies accountable for the services that they provide. Uh, I'm sure that Comcast and AT&T are provided plenty of government funding bucks to do you know deployments and renovations and modernizations to their network. But I'm just sure it's just never enough. Uh, they never be satisfied. It's how these companies work and that's how they are. Uh, but let me know if you have any previous experience with any telcos kind of being a problem in this way. I think this is just something that's par for the course. But what say you comment down below? You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.